Good morning to you once again. Once again, uh, you're still tuning in to Vice at One, your number one entertainer, and we're here to unpack the news right here on this morning. Now, there's something that is happening to uh, a university. Everybody used to know it at, as Ghana Telecom University College, but then the, there's some sort of new air blowing. So we're here to find out what it is, and then we'll get a little bit into what they do there at the new... I don't know how to say, if, if I say new Ghana Telecom University. No, actually, um, yeah. we are staying with the name Ghana Telecom University College for mm, now, right. so that I can explain the transitions first of all. Mm. So what I'd like to say is, um, pretty much with regards to the original way that everybody knew the school as yes. um, affiliated with telecommunications, the uh -huh. school is going through a transition where it's going to focus more so on technology. Okay. Technology is taking over the world. We mm. want to be at, um, in the forefront. Okay. We want to be able to make an impact on society mm. and Ghana as a whole. Interestingly enough, majority of the students come from West Africa and not just Ghana. Oh, so okay. when people Google Ghana Te Technology University College or Ghana Telecom University College, mm. they come from Liberia, Ivory Coast, Nigeria. Nigeria, you'd be surprised to find international students who come to stay in the campus dormitories mm. and hostels. So as it stands right now, I'm here basically to share the fact that our affiliation with Vodafone before, based on the original Ghana Telecom way that everything used to run, is going to be a bit of a, it's going to be a bit of a change mm -hmm. or transition from that um, primary uh, or what we used to refer to as Ghana Telecom University. Mm -hmm. So when those changes take place, we would like to request for all the alumni since um, August 2006 when Kufuor inaugurated the school right, okay. to come back and give their information and contact details back to the university wow. so we can have a fundraising event slated for November 2013. Mm -hmm. And this would be like our first ever fundraising campaign, our first ever alumni situation for all the alumni to be proud of what the school has gone through mm -hmm. since 2006 to date. So okay. it's been a remarkable seven year journey, mm -hmm. I must say, and I'm very proud to be affiliated with the institution. All right, two things that I want to know. Um, at what time is it going to be a fully fledged uh, Ghana Technology University College and you it is from presently the, yeah. Ghana Technology University College but, then, but just because we are in our pro, in the process of doing our PR and our branding and marketing right. okay. I want to be able to clarify here mm -hmm. on the on the TV show that yeah. if you in case you haven't heard okay it's already in place okay we have our logo we have our documentation we have everything for mm. brands set in place the investor relations um, individual is doing a ph phenomenal job okay we just hired a brand new mar brand marketing individual who's mm -hmm. like very um, tech savvy mm -hmm. to help us make all these transitions the right way possible okay. so we're doing all the right things necessary mm -hmm. I'll be doing a lot of publicity in terms of TV and radio mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, news media for the university as well okay. and my particular department is the institutional advancement mm -hmm. department and that's where I'll be asking the alumni um, of the school yeah. so if you're an alumnus out there and you see this television show today please mm -hmm. feel free to come into the office mm -hmm. walk-ins are acceptable you can call me anytime or my mm -hmm. personal assistant anytime what about those who are who've left the shores of Ghana how would that's they be why we'll have yeah. the touch and reach of Facebook Twitter okay. and other social media and other social platforms mm -hmm. to be able to reach them so that they can also email their mm -hmm. contact details or keep in touch with us like you know I get bombarded still yeah. Kokui yeah. and I, Common <laughs> College still bombards us yeah. with alumni information. We're all the way in Ghana. Right. So if they can reach us from America, mm. then it means that we can reach America also, also and, from here. and beyond and the globe. Okay. Is it, does it mean that certificates are going to change, like those you've given to yes. 2006, going to change from Ghana Telecom to, yes, to Ghana, Ghana Technology, Technology University oh, College? Okay. And now... Uh, we also are going to let people know that we are opening up and I'm in talks with MTN, mm -hmm. Airtel, you know, mm -hmm. um, other telecommunication, telecommunication companies. Okay. Let them know that we are now technology focused. Mm -hmm. And also the, um, the RLGs of the world, mm -hmm. Samsung, Huawei, yeah. um, Nokia, Ericsson, all of those companies now have a chance to partner up primarily with the school. I see. We can, we can be adopted if, mm, if you think Yeah, yeah but no. how, how is that going to happen if all of them want to come into the mix? The whole thing is the best. Mm. We will pick the best. Ah, okay. So we're looking for the best out there in terms of the relationship we are trying to forge. And we have our criteria, we have our guidelines of what mm. we need to see. And when we send our sponsorship proposals and our, our packages out, we kind of pretty much... Uh, envisage with, between the two mm. organizations how we can have a quick win right. or mutual ben mutually beneficial kind mm. of relationship with the what if somebody comes up with a name that I want to be say for example MTN Ghana 
uh, Technology University College. Would you accept that? The president and the council do that kind of work. Mm -hmm. Be very careful. <laughs> well, that, that's, not for, that's not my place at all. I'm just here yeah. in my small little capacity uh -huh. to, you know, put, put in a, a couple of plugs. Okay. But in terms of um, uh, when it comes to the curriculum, mm -hmm. or curricula, I should say, mm -hmm. the president and the council that was set up by the government, mm -hmm. they are in place to do all of that work. All right, okay. I can make recommendations based on an institutional advancement advisory mm -hmm. board that is being put together as we speak. Okay. Um, it's of the top-notch individuals of um, Ghana. I can mention one name of an individual who's coming on board, Martin Mensah of UT okay. Holdings, UT, yeah. formerly of Casa Preco, mm -hmm. will be um, coming to the institution to take a tour of the institution so he can mm -hmm. join the advisory board in the capacity of being able to give strategic direction right. to the school as it relates to fundraising efforts, mm -hmm. as it relates to technology courses that are relevant to today's market, right. and as it relates to just anything in general that okay. will put the, the school you mm -hmm. know, on a better platform. Okay, so now the name has changed. What yes. about uh, everything else in the school in terms of uh, the period of time that you have your master's program? It's supposed to be one year? Um, those things okay. are those are going to be standardized, okay. and um, those will not change necessarily because just because the courses are changing mm -hmm. doesn't mean that the duration of classes will change. Right. But what will change is the level. Maybe the modules mm -hmm. will be maybe tweaked every now and then based mm -hmm. on advice from the council as mm -hmm. to what we think is more relevant. Or right. let's say if maybe MTN gave a great idea, they gave a recommendation that mm -hmm. what they would like to see happen is if let's say they have new telecom or technology individuals come on yeah. board, they want the staff to be able to come to the school and do mm -hmm. refresher courses okay. in, te in telecom or technology before mm -hmm. they come and become MTN staff. Right. That's a phenomenal suggestion to the institution mm -hmm. because it means that we both have a relationship where there's a quick win that we can assess right away. Right. So everybody seems to be pitching their ideas. Mm -hmm. I share some with the different companies that I speak to. So once it's a win-win situation and the president gives his final approval, mm -hmm. the council are fine with what we choose or who we decide to go with as a partnership or who we decide to liaise with, okay. then we'll be fine. Okay, I, I know go. you're on the path of uh, rebranding and talking about it, but I don't know if this one also falls within your purview mm -hmm. as per uh, the length of time that uh, the master's program runs. Uh, I hear it's on only weekends that um, you have lectures. I cannot be the because, one to answer right, that okay. because there's a university relations lady, a phenomenal lady named mm -hmm. Ifua, okay. and she is the public relations person. Ah, okay. So I have to double check on that for you. But mm -hmm. I would believe that weekends and evenings there mm -hmm. are modules in place, yeah. and that um, I'll send your brochure after the show. That'll be fine. Because um, some people give you believe that uh, it, it shortens the time, so there's a lot of pressure on the students. So if it could be, no, I, I a think bit. Um, the way that the program is is, is structured, mm -hmm. the modules rather give you more space to be able to cope and recuperate. Mm -hmm. you know over a period of time when it's crashed up together and all together all at once yeah. it's very difficult to um, actually finish your uh, the the expectations that are given to you mm -hmm. but these modules are spaced out and the graduate school has a new building that we are we are bragging about and wow. excited you about you should come on yeah, campus I and would. tour I would I would yeah, I you would. should come to my office yeah <laughs> it's, it's one of the finest yeah. <laughs> I should say I should Thanks see to the okay. president mm. yes so i mean what brought up all this change why did you want to rebrand and change and tweak and do all I that? would say that I was not privy to that detail when I joined the company mm -hmm. or I mean the institution yeah. but I must say that speaking from speaking to the president mm -hmm. and seeing that his focus has been so much on being the best in technology and the best in Africa right. there had to be a need to no longer just you know kind of like focus only on one little area of mm. telecom we had to expand you know we had the wings to be able to to fly higher and so right. higher so there was a need to be able to say okay let's spread our wings and become a technology focus because of course telecom or technology encompasses telecom as right. it is so we can still be technology and mm. have a broader umbrella that mm. we all fall under that's okay. the main reason why i would think Emil, thank you so very much. Thank you, Patrice. <laughs> Always like a, a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Should be, yeah? yeah? It is already. Okay, so thank you. We wish you all the best, though. Thank and you. I'll do what to pass by the campus and then yes. I mean, examine things and see for myself. Sounds I mean, very yeah, good. That's, that's great. Always so, great to see you in Kokui. Yeah, you know, it's also beautiful to see you around. Okay. And, and the point is that, so all those of you alumni who are out there, if you have a friend or you know some people out there who went to Ghana Telecom University, it's now Ghana Technology University College. So just inform them to go on campus and then they can change all the necessary documents so they don't have any issues going forward from here. So you can pass by the campuses and then have a, have a tweak. At, I mean. Can I give a number out? Oh, yes, you can. No problem. Okay. That's fine. But my personal assistant, Fatu Esi Sese, will answer calls at plus 233 mm. 202-625-770. Okay. Call her anytime, night or day, and she'll be happy okay, to the, the number again. Plus 233 Okay. 
202 okay 625 mm -hmm. 770 okay 770 so the number is 020 262-5770. So call them. All right. Thank okay. you so much. All right. Okay. So we'll be right back. This is this morning. Do stay on. We're going to get into the local headlines and uh, we'll see what happens then. We'll see you.